Hi everyone! Welcome to our Scientific Friday! I am Teacher Janelle and I am on a journey again to understanding the different things around us. Ready to join? Come on and let's see how science is everywhere! Try looking at the things around your house. Look at your phone, television, t-shirt, even the water that flows in your faucet, and the air you breathe. Have you ever asked yourself what these things are made of? I think you now have an idea of today's topic. Today, we are going to talk about elements and compounds. In this topic, we will discover the following. What are elements? What are compounds? How are elements and compounds present in our daily lives? Everything you see around you using your naked eye and even those you can just smell or feel are matter. Matter is made up of combined compositions that can be categorized as mixtures or pure substances. Mixtures result from physically combined substances, while pure substances are substances that will always have the same composition. An example of a mixture is the salt water. It is a mixture because the salt and the water are physically combined. However, Looking at the salt and water separately, they are classified as pure substances. That is because we can never physically combine any substance in order to create water or salt. They were and they are water and salt even before you and I existed. Now, Pure substances can be further classified as an element or a compound. So, what are these two? Ready to start? Let's go! Let's begin with the simplest pure substance, the element. The universe, our planet Earth, and even ourselves are made up of the simplest matter called elements. We just don't notice them because not all elements can be seen by the naked eye. Just like the alphabet that serves as the basis of words and sentences, elements are also the basis of every living and non-living thing. The water used for drinking, cleaning, and many other kinds of stuff is made up of two elements, hydrogen and oxygen. The salt used to add taste to our food is also made up of two elements, sodium and chlorine. Our planet Earth's atmosphere is made up of various elements, oxygen, nitrogen, argon, carbon dioxide, and other elements. The Earth's crust is also made up of many elements such as oxygen, silicon, aluminum, Iron, calcium, sodium, potassium, magnesium, and other elements. At present, there are 118 recorded elements in the periodic table, and they are represented in symbols. Hmm, how did the scientists come up with this? The symbol of the elements are always in uppercase, like H for hydrogen, O for oxygen, N for nitrogen. If it is in two-letter format, the uppercase letter is followed by a lowercase letter, like AU for gold, CA for calcium, and NA for sodium. You will notice that some symbols are derived from the first letter of the English name of the element such as I for iodine 
and C for carbon. But some symbols are derived from its Greek or Latin origins, such as AU from aurium, which means shining dawn for gold. CU from cuprum, which means metal from Cyprus for copper. And AG from argentum, which means shiny or white for silver. Now it's time for a fan fact! You and I have element components inside our body, such as calcium in our bones and iron in our hemoglobin. These hemoglobins are stored in our bones, spleen, and liver, and also iodine in our thyroid glands, which are important in our metabolism. These and more are the reasons why we see different elements written in the label of your multivitamins. Those are the elements for you. Now let's proceed to the next category of pure substances, the compound. Unlike the simple elements, compounds are pure substances made up of two or more combined elements. Take the car smoke as an example. Smoke is a compound composed of one carbon and two oxygen atoms. Simply put, it is called CO2. Water is also a compound composed of two hydrogen and one oxygen atoms, which is why it is called H2O. Table salt is actually a compound composed of one sodium and one chlorine. Sugar, also known as sucrose, is a compound composed of 12 carbon, 22 hydrogen, and 11 oxygen atoms. Vinegar is also a compound composed of 2 carbon, 4 hydrogen, and 2 oxygen atoms. Now it's time for a brain break! Try to distinguish if the following items I'm going to show you are an element or a compound. Ready? Let's go! Sodium Table salt Oxygen If you answered everything correctly, then you did great! That was saying terrific! Today, we were able to learn that pure substances can be an element or a compound. Elements are the simplest pure substances. Elements can be found on Earth's atmosphere, crust, and even inside our bodies. Compounds are pure substances that are chemically combined elements. And finally, compounds can be found in our everyday lives such as smoke, water, salt, and sugar. I hope you learned a lot today. Join me again for our next Scientific Friday. And together, let us discover things around us because science is everywhere. I am Teacher Janelle for Teacher Vival. Goodbye!